Today we will give you a quick demonstration of mass movement of inertia. In other words, that we simply can call as the resistance to angular acceleration about a fixed axis. So this is our setup here. This is the drum and here this is our fixed axis of rotation be here at the center perpendicular to the surface of the drum. So if I put a pen here, so this will be our axis of rotation. I will use this handle of this drum to rotate the body and these are the weights, the adjustable weights that I can move in different hole, so in different places. So our goal is to see how much effort it takes for this body to accelerate when the weights are closer to the rotation axis and when the weights are farther from or far in from the uh, fixed axis. So at the first step my weights are closer to the axis of rotation so I give acceleration you see how it's pretty fast and easy for me to give a high acceleration and rotation. Now is the second part we still have the same weight of the body we still have the same weights here the number the weights are the same but the position of the weights are changed from here to this position now we'll try to give them give the body a, uh, a rotation see where, how I'm trying but it takes a little bit more time to get acceleration and it's not getting no, no matter how I try it's not getting as much of the um, acceleration as of the first time this is due to the moment of inertia. So when the adjustable masses are located far from the axis of rotation, we have higher moment of inertia compared to the when we have the masses closer.